we're asked to find an equation in rectangular coordinates for the spherical equation rho equals two cosecant phi. To write the equation using rectangular coordinates, we need to write the equation so that it only contains the variables x, y, and z, and not the variables rho, phi, or theta. Looking at the equations that relate rectangular and spherical coordinates, notice how none of the equations contain cosecant phi. For the first step, we will substitute one over sine phi for cosecant phi using the identity cosecant phi equals one over sine phi. Performing this substitution gives us the equation rho equals two divided by sine phi. And now from here, notice how here we have the equation z equals rho times cosine phi, and therefore, it'll be much easier to perform a substitution for a cosine phi rather than sine phi, and therefore, we will now square both sides of the equation, which will give us sine squared phi in the denominator, which we can then replace with one minus cosine squared phi. So for the next step, we square both sides of the equation. On the left, we have rho squared. On the right, we square the numerator and denominator, which gives us four divided by sine squared phi. And now using the trig identity, sine squared phi plus cosine squared phi equals one. If we solve this equation for sine squared phi, we have sine squared phi equals one minus cosine squared phi, which we will now use to substitute for sine squared phi. Performing the substitution gives us rho squared equals four divided by the quantity one minus cosine squared phi. Again, this is helpful because now we can use the equation z equals rho cosine phi and solve this for cosine phi, which gives us cosine phi equals z divided by rho, which means we can substitute z squared divided by rho squared for cosine squared phi. Performing this substitution gives us the equation rho squared equals four divided by the quantity one minus z squared divided by rho squared. The next step will be to clear this fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator of one minus z squared divided by rho squared. Or if we want, we can think of cross multiplying. Either way, this gives us rho squared times the quantity one minus z squared divided by rho squared equals four. Let's continue on the next slide. So the next step, we distribute rho squared. Rho squared times one is equal to rho squared minus rho squared times z squared divided by rho squared simplifies nicely to z squared. And finally, we make the substitution for rho squared, where rho squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Performing this last substitution gives us x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus z squared equals four. Simplifying, z squared minus z squared is equal to zero, giving us the rectangular equation x squared plus y squared equals four, which graphed in three dimensions, we should recognize as a cylinder. Which we see graphed here, if we graph this using three-dimensional software, here is the graph of the cylinder. I hope you found this helpful.